Grab those glasses. David Pogue has a sneak preview of tomorrow's great American eclipse. Tomorrow's total eclipse of the sun won't be any old eclipse. This one is being referred to as the great American eclipse. And the reason is it's going through some very populated areas of the United States. We're in this area where 60 to 70 percent... Astronomy author and educator Ed area. Ting says that in a solar eclipse, the moon passes exactly between your eyes and the sun and casts its shadow on the Earth. And the shadow is only about 100 miles wide. So you have to be in a specific place on the Earth to witness the solar eclipse. Solar eclipses actually take place every 18 months or so, but during most of them, the spectacle is wasted on empty ocean. But tomorrow afternoon, the moon's shadow will leave 32 million Americans in 15 states, briefly in the dark. It's all the result of a freakish cosmic coincidence. When we see the photos, we see this perfect black disk, that's the moon, and then we see that corona of sunlight around it. How does it happen that the sun and the moon appear to be exactly the right size for each other. It's interesting the way eclipses happen because the sun is 400 times bigger than the moon. But by happy coincidence, it is also 400 times further away. So from our perspective, they are the same size. But the thrill of an eclipse isn't just about what's overhead. It's the sky and everything else around you. The wind sometimes starts to pick up. Animals get confused. The street lights come on. How dark does it get? Is it like nighttime? It's not like nighttime. The sky takes on this sort of fish scaly, shimmery quality, and you will freak out. You can understand why the ancients ascribed such spiritual or religious significance to eclipses, because you will feel very strange. Half of the people who see an eclipse for the first time will cry. If you live in the path of the eclipse, you may notice one more effect, a lot more traffic. Our town will grow twice its size, which means 160,000 people might be in town for the eclipse, and we're very excited about it. Carrie White is the chairman of the Eclipse Oversight Committee for Jonesboro, Arkansas, where the moment of totality complete blockage of the sun will last two minutes, 17 seconds. Our police department, our fire department, uh, city water and light, they've all been working for over a year to design a plan. On April 8th, park your ride, protect your eyes, and look at the sky. There are a total of four spots where you can view the eclipse. There are Carrie Whites all over the country. Everywhere, <laughs> all over the country that are doing exactly what I've been doing. It's a big, big deal. Looking directly at the sun can permanently damage your vision, which is why you need eye protection. We ordered 75,000 pairs of glasses, and we have been working for weeks to pass them out to all the schools. We've passed them out at all of the major businesses, the library, the city hall. If you don't have a pair of glasses and you live in Jonesboro, I don't know how to help you. <laughs> but here's something about the glasses you might not know. Once totality hits, you can take the glasses off. Oh, why is that? Yeah, because there's not much light coming from the sun. Once the sun starts to come out again, you do need to remember to put your glasses back on. Cameras need protective filters too. But here's a classic piece of advice for would-be photographers. See your first eclipse, photograph your second. And I have seen this personally, where there is an eclipse and the person is not looking up, they're fiddling with their camera, and then before you know it, the eclipse is gone. You never saw it, and you didn't get the picture. You see it? You see it? Of course, all the precautions in the world won't help you if the conditions aren't right. I have to bring up the W word. What happens if it's cloudy and the weather is bad? I, I guess I'll um, cry. <laughs> Don't talk to me about the bad stuff. Fortunately, it's mostly good stuff. When you consider that this truly is the great American e eclipse because it goes through the center of the United States, it, it just puts you in awe. I just know that it's going to be wonderful 
and I'm going to take it all in. Every second of my two minutes, I'm going to take in and enjoy.